What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nasty from the Nasty Hippo. No, Thrifty Hippo. That's what we're calling it. Uh, welcome to the life of Nasty. Um, this is uh, our second, no, third video of our thrifting journeys. This is all the stuff we found. Hope you like the video. If you do, give it a like and subscribe. We'll be making these hopefully once a week. Uh, let's see how this one does. Uh, we've probably spent about like $20 to $30 I think, oh actually no, this is the one we spent almost $50 at, but there's something in here we almost made $200, so stick around to the, about the middle of the video and you'll see it. All right, I uh, found this Supernatural air freshener. Hopefully it'll sell for maybe a few bucks, who knows. Right here are just some filler uh, albums just to fill these cases. I, I found these dope ass covers, but I couldn't find any of the, the actual vinyls to match them. So my thought was I'll put them in here so it doesn't get bent. Hopefully somebody will buy these for like the artwork that are on them. Who knows? Now we got some hats. I have so many hats right now that it's just, I shouldn't be grabbing anymore, but I saw these uh, Russell brand on here. I was like, oh shit, I gotta grab this hat. And then I saw this cow and I was like, damn, somebody would rock that. I mean, I would rock it, but I don't know. It's pretty dope, metal gold. Now we got some CDs. There's a, it's, I mean, it's like, I don't even know who it is, but it's, it's going for like 30, 40 bucks online that it had some batteries in it but i pulled it out because it weighed so much and i wasn't trying to pay that much but it works and right here i'm not even sure what that is some kind of computer part it was like brand new in the box here my girlfriend's showing me the socks we got for ourselves i'm not sure why we're showing those but she oh my girlfriend pulled these out this is a stamp yeah stamps uh, hopefully those will sell we'll see Here, I fucking saw this at the bottom of the bin. I grabbed it and I was like, whoo! <laughs> you know, uh, quick, easy $200 right there. And boom. Actually, probably could have gone for more if I was patient, but I wasn't. And we got a Webkins. Always grab Webkins. You know, they're nice. Um, right here, my girlfriend and I are having kind of a debate. I'm not sure if we should be selling this. Or no, she's not sure. I don't really care. It's just expired ink. <laughs> Next, we got some clothes. Got a North Carolina uh, woman's shirt. I'm not even sure. Then this is a Mexico jersey on Adidas tag. Right here, uh, Houston Texans. No, Astros. Houston Astros. Like a, it was almost like a military jersey looking like. And this I got it because it's just funny when you're dead inside, but it's Christmas. Save on, save that till next year. Somebody would buy that. It's funny. Right there, there was an Adidas Adidas uh, sweater. I was like, I had to grab. My girlfriend was like, why the hell did you grab this shirt? It's all old. And then I point to 1991 single stitch Bahama or Dayton. Dayton Beach, USA. It's, it's dope. Somebody buy it. 
It has a little rip in it, but it'll be alright. Right here we have a champion branded hoodie. I had to grab it because the tag looked old. So here my girlfriend pulled that up and I was like, man, eh, it's kind of ripped. But then I looked on the tag and it's 2003 Hanna Barbera Scooby Doo. And a couple of essential Levi t-shirts will probably just pair those up together, sell them as a, a group. Here we got a Winnie the Pooh kid suit. <clears throat> vintage, it has to be vintage. Um, I actually think I have this up right now on our website for like 20, 30 bucks. Here's some uh, non easy to get in all button up Levi's. I said I'm trying out new stuff right now. I mean, just a little here, a little there. Here we got a Snuggie that's Disney branded. I'm pretty sure it's like Disney Star branded. Let's see. Yep, Disney Disney Parks brand. Nice. Marvin the Martian hat. That might be a keep. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but you know, had to grab it. Ooh, a little mermaid um, sweatshirt. Um, with that coming out like next month, I think, or next two months. That would be a good thing to sell. Hopefully somebody will snatch it up. Right here, my girlfriend, I saw this and I was like, oh, it's brand new with tags. Said, what is it? It's, it's a dog raincoat. And my girlfriend's like, oh, we can try it out. I mean, maybe somebody will buy it for their pet. You know, brand new, I mean, never used. So there you go. So also, whenever we go to the thrift store, we're not just looking for stuff to resell on eBay. We're also looking for stuff to give to our nieces and nephews and our family members because why not? I and mean, who cares? It's really cheap. This right here, I'm gonna give it to my nephew and I hope he really likes it. Alright, yeah, we got this Dunder Mifflin hat. It's gonna be my daily wear. Um, now let's go with some food in our bellies and head on to the next thrift. All right, hopefully you made it to the end of this video. Like I said, we spent probably $60 at the bins, but this is just the first part of the day. We went to all three outlets that are in Colorado. We did find that Nikon camera and we sold it for 200 bucks. I put it up for auction twice and nobody bought it. And then I put it up for 150, had a few bidders on it and boom, $190. That's fine, I paid a few bucks for it. Love the Goodwill Bins. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You know, maybe subscribe. Um, it's not something you have to do, but it'd be pretty dope because I'm new to this and I, I would like I would like some subscribers. That'd be dope. But as always, thank you for watching another day in the life of Nasty. And as always, stay nasty and you'll find some dope shit.